Hi, I'm Gareth Green and in this video we're going to have a little bit of a think about musical note names because depending on which part of the world you live unfortunately we give the same notes different names and this often causes a bit of confusion. So if you live in the UK as I do or in many parts of the world that have adopted a kind of UK system you'll know these kind of notes as crotchets and minims and quavers and things. If you live in the US and in many parts of the world that adopt the US system you'll know about whole notes and half notes and so on. So this video is just trying to mop this up so that we all understand what we're talking about. So if you hear a funny name for a note, you'll know what it means in your own system. So let's go through these notes. These are the kind of standard length of notes. And in case you haven't met this one at the top, I'll come back to it in a moment. Um, it's worth eight beats. This one's worth four. This one's worth two, one, half, quarter, eighth, and sixteenth. So if you know the values of these notes, that's great. If you don't know them, what you'll notice is that every time we move on, we're halving the number. So there's a kind of system behind all this. So we start off with this funny thing, a round note with these two lines either side, and then we get rid of the lines and we have that. And once we have that, we, we put a stick on it, what we call a stem, and then we have that and we colour it in and then we have that and we put one hook on it. Then we add a second hook and a third hook and a fourth hook. So this is the kind of basic system of rhythm that we use. And now we're going to talk about the names that go with them. OK, well, if you live in my part of the world, we're going to start here. I'll come back to this one. We'll start here. Well, this thing with four beats we call a semi-breathe. Okay, a semi-breathe. If you come from the US or some other part of the world using the US system, you will know this as a whole note. So how about that? A whole note. Now I started there because I'm now going to explain the logic of what happens with this eight beat thing. And this note is far less commonly used than these other notes. So if you've never seen one of these, don't worry about it, doesn't matter at all. Um, but you might just bump into it, particularly if you get into 16th century music where you tend to meet more of those notes. But there we are. So there's a logic and this is why I've done it this way around. If this thing is called a semi-breathe, well semi means half, doesn't it? So if this is half of a breathe, and it's four, ah, oh, well this is twice four, isn't it? So this one is called a breathe, okay? So in the UK system, we call that a breathe. Semi-breathe is half of a breathe, because four is half of eight, so that's a breathe. In the US system, this is a whole note, and this is called a double whole note, which is also kind of logical, isn't it, really? If the four is a whole note, well, this one must be double that. So there's a double whole note. OK, now if we move on to this one. In the UK system, the note that has two beats is called a minim. And in the US system, it's called a half note. Now that kind of makes sense, doesn't it, really? If this one is a whole note, well, that's a half note. I have to say in the UK, we've got these rather quaint names. Um, in many ways, the US system is much more logical. But anyway, good to know them both. This one coming up next, we know as a crotchet. And by the way, if you ever have to write the word crotchet, make sure you put a T in the middle of it. Lots of people spell crotchet with no T in the middle and then it says crochet and crochet is a different thing altogether. So a crotchet is a one beat note. OK, now I wonder if you can see the logic of where the US system is going next, because they call this one a quarter note. OK, so there's the quarter note. 
So a whole note, a half note, a quarter note. You can see what the logic of this thing is. Uh, this one we call in the UK quaver. Okay, and where are we going to go next? If that's a quarter note, well, this one must be an eighth note. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, this one in our system in the UK is called a semi quaver. Well, that also is logical to some extent, isn't it? If this one's a quaver, semi quaver is half of a quaver. So half of a half is a quarter. It's all about maths, this, isn't it? And you can see that in the US system, this thing is now going to be called a sixteenth note. Uh huh. Okay, what about this thing that's looking more like a centipede as we go? The thing that's an eighth of a beat, we call it in the UK a, wait for this, demi semi quaver. Uh huh. Okay, so quaver, semi quaver, demi semi quaver. Oh, crikey. You can see where this is going now. So this is a 30 second note. So that's where that's going. You see where we're going. Uh, so you just keep doubling up quarter, eight, 16, 32, and so on. And then wait for this one. It gets better. This one in the UK system is a Hemi, demi, semi, quaver. Now that's just a great name, isn't it? So if you want to impress your friends with a long word, hemi, demi, semi, quaver is what that one is. Double up 32, you get 64. So in the US system, this is a 64th note. So both these systems are perfectly acceptable on the international scale of things, but it's quite useful to know what both systems are. I have to say there's a certain logic in the English system, you know, quaver, semi-quaver, demi-semi-quaver, hemi-demi-semi-quaver, brief, semi-brief, you know, less of a logic in this stuff here. And there is real logic in the American system, because if that's a whole note, that's a double whole note, that's half a note, uh, a quarter note, an eighth note, 16th, 32nd note, 64th note, it, that flows out much more logically in many ways. But the main thing is, whichever side you are, just to know what the notes are called on the other side. So if ever you're kind of brought up on this system and somebody starts talking about this system or vice versa, you know what those two things mean. So I hope that's a useful translation of musical note names.